OSPN. And finally, we've come to the moment you've all been waiting for. OSPN's number one all-time office athlete of the century. There can be little doubt that this man changed the very sport itself with his speed, skill, and sheer stick to -itiveness. I speak of none other than number 56 himself, terrible Terry Tate, office linebacker. You can't hit me! Oh my god, I'll come with it, son! But Terry Tate wasn't always the mean machine we know and love today. Let's take a look back and see from whence this office athlete came, shall we? Like many children, Terry was born. Sometime later, Terry attended high school. After graduating as valedictorian and captain of the football team, Terry decided to accept a full scholarship to major university. And it was while attending major university that Terry reached a fork in the road. A fork of destiny. During his Halcyon collegiate days, Terry experimented with the freelance mime troupe and discovered a talent that even he didn't know he had. He could have been one of the greats. The world was his tacit oyster. Terence could have had everything that comes with being a world-class pantomime. The adulation, the wealth, the women, but... Terry had his demons, and eventually, his demons had him. Hey, Diamond Diggity Dave, how you doing? Ah, nothing. I'm just watching some guy do like a sign language performance or something. I don't know what it is. What happened? No way. Come on, excuse me. Yeah, in a minute, Chachi. I don't know, some helmet's yammered in my ear, you know how it is. Right. Do respect to us, or the us will respect you! From the moment I saw him, I knew that Terry was exactly what Team Felcher needed. So it was that Terry Tate, office linebacker, came to be. And Felcher and Sons would never be the same again. People said that hiring an office linebacker was a gimmick, a cheap publicity stunt. Whoa! But with Terry Tate's proven motivational techniques, our productivity is up another 46% for the year. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Wherever you please! That's just nasty! But that's not to say that I play favorites in the Felcher family. So, when I received Paul's complaint... Cut the cheese? I, I'm lactose intolerant. Terry Tate assaulted me. That's just not right. My hands were tied. I had to follow employee handbook policy. So, we brought in Geneva Stoller, a human resource consultant with Sanchez Steamer and Company, to run a workshop on office sensitivity. Interesting. The first rule of sensitivity is that every human has a personal bubble that should never be penetrated without HR approval. Anyone observed in non-compliance will receive one of these. A badge of shame. Sensitivity training? <laughs> hey man, I'm a sensitive mother... My tackling knows no race, gender, or creed. So bring it on. I'm an equal opportunity hitter machine, baby. All day, every day. Believe